Hello Libra, welcome to Empress Moon Tarot. I hope you are doing well. This is going to be your mid-month for October 2018. Um, I have pre-shuffled the cards and laid them out. I'm not sure what's in here. We'll find out in a minute. Voyage of Discovery together. Spirit, give me one Romance Angels and one Mystical Wisdom. If any clarifying is going to be done, I'll be using my mini Celtic Tarot deck. Love this deck. I use these in my personal readings locally and just recently started using them on online readings. Um, just wanted to say a moment, for a brief moment, my humblest apologies that yours are so late. I've been very, very, very exhausted and um, have been needing some rest, so unfortunately I have been unable to get to them. But let's see what we have for you. Central to our reading, we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is about um, the universe sending some sort of opportunity of communication to bring balance into your life. So the rest of these cards will be surrounding this theme. Okay, now we've got past, present, future. Past could have been yesterday, last week, etc. Future could occur before the October 31st time frame of this reading, or you could start to see signs of it, and it could occur beyond that. So we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Lovers. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have Strength, the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Hierophant. Okay, I'm seeing some relationship troubles. Um, Okay, so I do see that um, there may that you may have been trying to manifest something in your life, Libra. When I see these two hands up in the Page of Pentacles, it usually has to do with manifestation. And then the clock talks about you know there being a time-sensitive opportunity that's coming your way. And I feel as if there was some sort of message of um, you know this opportunity coming your way that you felt was a result of manifestation. And it was associated with a love interest, somebody that to you feels like a soulmate. But it appears as if there has been some sort of loss associated with this love interest. Um, this five of pentacles is a very strong feeling of helplessness, as if there's absolutely no hope. Um, that you're putting an awful lot of pressure on yourself. Um, when I see this blood in her hand, you know, dripping from her hand, it tells me that, you know, you're blaming yourself for whatever happened here. And that you're feeling very trapped, very helpless, as if there's no hope to fix this situation at all. Now, um... In the present row, we have strength, which is about being persistent, enduring, uh, you know, taking a moment to just stop and breathe and say, okay, you know, I'm going to keep going. Uh, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going and um, push past any past struggles and hurts. But it does look like, you know, we have the Page of Pentacles kind of heralds, you know, lets you know that there is this new opportunity coming. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is the opportunity. You see, here's the Ace of Pentacles. Now she's holding this Ace of Pentacles. And she's, it's almost like she's taunting you saying, hello, I have this great big dream here, this exciting gift from the universe. Are you going to, are you going to step forward and take this opportunity? Um, you know, when I see the Ace of, Ace of Pentacles, it um, screams out to me that, you know, you, you need to take action in order for you to attain it. Um, I'm sensing that you may have some other love opportunities, though, Libra, and uh, that may cause a little bit of confusion for you.
And the, the confusion definitely is surrounding surrounding your love interest. Possibly this this Ace of Pentacles could actually be a new opportunity um, coming from you know somebody else in your life, which could be leading to this confusion. There is some deception here when we have the Five of Swords. There is deception, um, you know, selfishness, a little bit of greed. It's a self-centered energy that that screams about needing to have open honest communication and that self-centered energy you know could be adding to this confusion and the confusion is surrounding a relationship you know the hierophant can have to do with spiritual growth it can have to do is he has to do with spiritual matters as well um, self-improvement things of that nature but he also can be related to a relationship and I'm seeing you know strong relationship issues here um, it's possible that this new opportunity that came along you see as being relationship potential for you um, which is causing you confusion with this past love interest that is still on your mind and you may have had some communication with but it does look like this new opportunity entirely is, is associated with, you know, forward movement and a, a potential for, um, a potential for a relationship with somebody new, because we do see this the herald, the messenger of the page of Pentacles, bringing in some some communication to you regarding that. And I also see your feeling of hopelessness being changed and transformed into something beautiful and something really exciting. But I see that there's a lot of lies here. And Libra, if you're the one who's lying and you're deceiving somebody, you're deceiving yourself first and foremost when you, when you are lying and you are... You, because this is about self-interest, right? So when when this deception card comes up, it, it talks a lot about you deceiving yourself as well by your actions and the things that you're saying. And um, it actually is preventing you from forward movement. And it's causing you not to see things clearly because you're telling yourself lies which is causing confusion as well. That's what I'm seeing here, Libra. Um, yeah, see we have the, the Three of Swords here and the Five of Pentacles again. So this this energy of the Five of Swords with the deception and, and you know, basically the lies is, is because of heartbreak. You're lying because your heart was broken and you're lying because you feel helpless and trapped. And that's not a good situation to be in. You, I don't know if you're lying to yourself or you're lying to somebody else. Um, somebody could be lying to you, but I, I don't see that here. I see this as being your energy because the Five of, five of Swords is very much a self-interest. And it has to do with the fact that you've put in so much hard work um, hard work into this, likely into this relationship, that you're kind of wondering whether or not you should still continue to do so. So Spirit, why is this Seven of Cups here for Libra? Whoa. Why is this Seven of Cups here for Libra, please, Spirit? Two more, please. Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra. Or both. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Lover's card again. And we've got the Fool taking a leap of faith. The Five of Wands, which has to do with uh, petty arguments and ten being burdened. Okay, I do see here, I, I see somebody new has come along. And um, you're still focused on this past love interest, though. It's like you're unable to get, get beyond them. But you guys have had some really 
really small arguments or petty disagreements about things that have caused you to feel very, very burdened. But it looks like this Knight of Pentacles energy comes in here and encourages you to take a leap of faith and move towards something new. And that's what you're really confused about. Should you move towards this new love interest or should you continue with the old? Can you please give me some insight into the Hierophant, please, Spirit? Okay, we've got a Seven of Wands, Three of Wands, and Judgment. Okay, if you're, it looks like you're waiting, you're wanting a relationship probably with your past person. Because it looks like you're waiting for some, you're waiting for an apology because the judgment card has to do with forgiveness. You're waiting on an apology. Um, the three of wands has to do with waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for something to happen in the future, which is why I said you're waiting for an apology. And the Seven of Wands has to do, once again, with deception and betrayal. And, um, you know, breaking the confidence of your tribe. Kind of being a lone wolf. A little bit anxious. So. Libra, you've got a decision to make. Your decision is, do I stay with the past, the past love? Or do I move forward in my future? I see that the past love is causing a great deal of burdens for you. And, um, you know, whether or not that, that person is meant to still continue to be in your life, I don't know. Only you know that. And um, your decision that you have to make is, do I follow this new thing that's come along, which I don't see a whole lot of cards in here about that new one. I only see cards about you know, I see this as being the new opportunity that's come in. Ace of Pentacles from the Knight of Pentacles. You know, it couldn't be more clear. But beyond that, I see that your mindset is still on this la this past love. Your mindset is still on, you know, the hurts and the difficulties. But you're being deceptive with them. They're being deceptive with you. Until you guys open up and have open, honest communication you may have some trouble moving forward. So just keep that in mind. Now from Romance <laughs> from the Romance Angels deck, Spirit gave us a reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So think about that long and hard, Libra. Is that what you want or is that not what you want? Because I'm seeing that there's some toxic behavior there. And then we've got face your fears, release the power of fear. So fear may be what's causing you to be deceptive. You may be afraid that you can't open up and be honest with this person. Um, so you may want to face your fears and focus on your communication. I hope that's of help to somebody. It was very, very specific. So it's not going to resonate with everyone. You know, there may be bits and pieces that resonate with you, but if you need a more personalized reading, please take a look down in the description box for the link to go to my website so that you can get information on how to, to order a um, personal reading. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you again soon.